alternating back and forth. So that's a little tricky because it's different than locking in on just feeling your right foot being locked in. So one trick that I do, when I first started learning the triplet patterns, uh, it was a little awkward for my left to be leading every other, every other um, set of triplets. So what I would do is break down the two sets of three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Rather than looking at it like two sets of three, I would actually look at it like three sets of two. So instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, I would look at it like one, two, three, four, and five, six. And that way, my right foot was now leading again. It was going, instead of going one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's going one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, the one, the three, and the five. So let me give you an example. I'm going to uh, play the ride starting off with the one and the four. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I'm going to show you how it sounds when you're accenting every other beat, the one, the three, and the five. So here we go.